all, you better get that out of here. If you enjoy these videos, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, comment down below some conspiracies I should look at next. I post new videos every day at 3 p.m. Pacific, so make sure you come on back tomorrow. And make sure to subscribe to my gaming channel, Yeah Matt Smith. Just click that first link in the description below. And let's go! These are scary what-if theories. What if everything behind you disappears, but when you look back, it reappears? What if our shadows were warning us about something in the dark because they disappear in it? What if you're the only person left on earth and everyone and everything around us are just imaginary people and things we've made up so that we don't feel lonely? What if every time you think you hear your name being called, it's actually just your family trying to wake you up from a coma? What if the meteor that killed the dinosaurs was actually a UFO and we're the aliens? What? Gosh dang it, Dora the Explorer, I'm gonna need you to calm down. So you're telling me that all of you guys are in my imagination? Oh my god. So there's nothing behind me right now, but when I turn around, it like reappears. And we're the ones that killed the dinosaurs? Gosh dang it. It's our fault that there was no Jurassic Park 5. Oh god. Say it with me though. Hola, I'm Dora. Can you say puedes hacerme un sandwich? That means make me a sandwich in Spanish. I want a sandwich. Scariest conspiracy theories in the world that will seriously change your life. So this theory is very messed up. You are the only real person on earth. You watching this video are the only real person in the entire planet. Yeah. How messed up is that? The theory is that you, the person watching this video, the only person in the entire universe maybe. Everyone else is just a simulation or a figment of reality. Maybe it's AI. Or just your brain making up people because you're on your own. I mean maybe I'm the only person alive and I'm just talking to a bunch of robots in my mind. Mental, isn't it? But gives you something to think about. You should think about a different haircut. <laughs> uh -oh, I'm sorry. But everything around us could just be artificial intelligence. All of you guys could be robots. Yes, I've seen the movie Terminator. I've seen iRobot. Are you guys robots? Let me know in the comments. You have to tell me if you're a robot, okay? Otherwise, it's illegal. Your mom's illegal. All right, anyway. Wait, she might be? No, okay. <laughs> Scientists think chickens are the closest living relative of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. What? We were just talking about dinosaurs and like how we probably killed them because our spaceship landed and wiped them out. I mean that chicken low key looked like a T-Rex. Oh my gosh. So when I went to visit the farm and I was feeding those chickens, little did I know I was feeding the cold hearted killer. Oh yeah, I saw you in Jurassic World. Mm-hmm. So maybe these crazy chickens can transform into dinosaurs. Or they just evolved like, you know, from dinosaurs and yeah, now we have chickens that lay eggs. Mmm, scrambled eggs. Ooh, fried eggs. Ooh, sunny side up eggs. Okay, if we're gonna make Black this man. a series, I wanted to find the scariest conspiracy theory on this iceberg. Skinwalker's Ranch takes the f***ing cake. This place is honestly so much more insane than Area 51. I'm using my three minute limit to really explain this entire Here situation to you guys. So this ranch sprawls over 500 acres across northeastern Utah. This is a satellite image to kind of show you guys how huge this ranch is. Wow. So the ranch caught media attention in the mid-1990s when the Sherman family purchased the ranch in 1994 and began sharing mind-blowing stories with the world. This place literally had the news in a chokehold. People thought there was a Bermuda Triangle in Utah, even the tea of aliens being highly involved in this area. So once the couple moved into the ranch and got settled in, Terry and Gwen Sherman were coming home one night and they were startled by the sight of a freakishly huge wolf or coyote. The animal started stalking towards their livestock, which Terry ended up taking out his gun as rightfully so and shooting the animal. But to Terry's surprise, the animal kind of just repelled his bullets, which put him in a state of shock. They said that the creature didn't seem hurt and simply just grabbed the cattle in its mouth and wandered back into the bushes. But Ugh. the most unsettling part of their encounter with this beast was the foul stench that they said it had. It smelled like rotting human flesh. Ugh. In the weeks and months to follow, Terry and Gwen, along with other visitors to the ranch, began seeing unidentifiable beasts moving throughout the woods. They would let out roars, they would also see strange flashes of lights in the woods, as well as large orange circles and blue spheres floating around in the sky. Dang, do y'all live in the zoo or something? Like hearing all these animals roaring? It's time to move. Move to Afghanistan! But the most disturbing thing that took place on this rant was that the animals were dying in the most grotesque ways you could even imagine. 
Some of the dogs that they had and kept were found incinerated. Yes, incinerated on the property. Jeez. Cows were found dismembered or drained of all of their blood like this, or even cored out with a hollow body with no organs inside. As you probably already realized, the government got involved in this. And yep. when the government and scientists got involved, they were baffled at how these animals had their internals or organs removed. They said that the wounds were made with such a surgical precision that it just had to rule out coyotes or animals. Which then brings us into aliens. I promise you, this one just never stopped. So if you're not from America, Utah and Colorado is where a lot of supernatural activity happens. And this is also when people started noticing crop circles were all mm -hmm. over Skinwalker Ranch. And this is when people began noticing crop circles in the snow. Yes, you heard that right. Snow crop circles. As well as lots more people What's in the neighboring cities started also Ugh. seeing blue lights flying around the sky. I think Colorado just had blue lights flying around in their sky like a week ago. Oh, hey, anyways, back to no. The <laughs> not today, black man. You ain't gonna get me. Oh my God, guys. I'm just not gonna move to Utah. Who goes to Utah anyway? Like, what's in Utah? The Utah Jazz Basketball the longer you stare, the scarier it get. Oh my, God. okay, I see that creepy pig, the creepy monkey. <gasps> There's a guy on the ground, oh my gosh. I'm just looking, ugh, what kind of shop is, there's people in like, like, like human containers, ugh. And the man at the front counter has an egghead. Uh, no, not today. Bro, you need to close down your Halloween store, okay? It's, it's too creepy. So today we've got dream theory, often referred to as alternate perception. Now you again? messed up and really confusing so stick with me well right, so you know when you have a lucid dream where it's really believable and you feel everything you can literally control what happens in your dreams it may be like real life you know you may be doing things you do in your everyday life whatever and sometimes yeah. you wake up and think was that a dream that's really weird the theory is that we're actually switched no, stay with me basically the theory is that what we're in right now what i'm talking to you you're watching tiktok whatever this is actually the dream world so we're all dreaming when we go to sleep and dream, that's actually the real world. See what I mean? Done in a little switcheroo in there. See what I mean? It's messed up and confusing. But if you think about it, we can control some of our dreams. So it is possible that that's another consciousness and another life. Hit that follow button so you never know. Nope, no, nope. oh my gosh. Still rocking the same haircut, my boy. Mm mm mm. For shame. Shame on you. You're telling me that I'm dreaming right now, but then when I go to sleep, then I'm actually awake? What? I'm so Confucian. I have some weird dreams. So if you're telling me that my dreams are the real world, then, um, then the real world is horrible. Last night, I had a dream that a frog tried to rob me. He had a Glock and everything. Like, are you kidding me? That's the real world? Mm mm. Not today, Satan. Microscope zombie worms have come back to life after sleeping in the Arctic for 24,000 years. So we have 24,000 year old worms. Wow. That's nasty. Oh, excuse me, not worms, uh, zombie worms. How in the Billie Eilish did you wake up after 24,000 years? That's not good. They're gonna extract the DNA out of these worms and then bring back the dinosaurs. Actually, 24,000 years isn't enough time. It's like, you know, we need like a, a little bit more than that. 24 thousand years so you're telling me that these worms were crawling around with Christopher Columbus and George Washington that's crazy conspiracy theories part one uh -oh. Timmy Turner never wanted his godparents to be taken away from him so right before his 13th birthday when they get taken away he wishes to be a different person what making him Danny Phantom when Timmy Turner wished to become Danny Phantom he basically created a whole new universe. Mm. But when Timmy Turner became Danny Phantom, he didn't go alone. Everyone from Fairly Godparents went into Danny Phantom as well. AJ from Fairly Godparents becomes Tucker from Danny Phantom. Tootie from Fairly Godparents becomes Sam from Danny Phantom. Oh wow. Trixie from Fairly Godparents becomes Paulina from Danny Phantom. That's crazy. Chester from Fairly Godparents becomes Dash from Danny Phantom. Mr. and Mrs. Turner become Mr. and Mrs. Phantom. They look the Wanda same. becomes Jazz, and Cosmo becomes Frostbite. Mr. Crocker turns into Vlad. Jorgen becomes Walker. Jeez. And Fairy World from Fairly Godparents becomes the Ghost World from Danny Phantom. Pretty cool. <laughs> That kind of makes sense because Timmy Turner and Danny Phantom have the same dang hair and they do like low-key look alike man That's insane. These crazy cartoons are all connected Timmy is an average geek. 
And I don't understand. I remember the song. So this is by far the craziest one yet. If I today see, we're gonna be God dang it, if I see this man one more again, if I see one more again, man, I'm slap somebody. I'm sorry, bro, but uh, you must be stopped. You're telling me that the government is in cahoots with aliens? Oh, what? So the aliens probably control everything, and they tell the government to tell us what to do. There's a secret room in a mountain somewhere that has all of the world's secrets. I bet you we never even landed on the moon. Mm-hmm. Do they know that I'm not black? I'm actually dark white. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm black. I'm, yeah, 100%, yeah. A company in Arizona will freeze you in liquid nitrogen for $200,000 in hopes that future tech will be able to revive you. Just your head is $80,000 and pets start at 2,500. Why would I want to revive my pet? <laughs> I don't even have a pet unless we count your mama. Okay, anyway. What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe? A bigger in? microphone. Topic. There are motherfucking fish swimming around at the bottom of the ocean that are from the prehistoric times. Yup, that's it. You cannot tell me I'm wrong because You're when wrong. we crashed into Earth, killed all the dinosaurs off, there were still fish at the bottom of the ocean that never had come up yet. So that means the meteor never touched. You know why the meteor didn't touch them? Because even if it would have gotten to the bottom of the ocean, it wouldn't have been hot enough to kill the fish swimming down there off. You know, people like to bring in the ice age. The ice age froze the water, yes. But the bottom of the ocean is so close to the core of the earth, it's already heated. You couldn't have froze them neither. Which means it's probably fish down there still from prehistoric time, the size of a football field swimming around that we'll never be able to discover because a human can't go to the bottom of the ocean because you can kill them because the pressure's too high. Girl, I'm gonna need you to take off that lunch lady hairnet off your head, okay? It's ridiculous. I feel like this girl has a bunch of newspaper headlines glued to her wall. She thinks everything's a hoax. Everything's a conspiracy theory. You're telling me you think fish from the dinosaur times are still around today at the bottom of the ocean? They could be, but probably not because like a lot of animals just go extinct from natural causes. This girl needs to go extinct, am I right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Stan Larkin spent 555 days with no heart in his body. He wore a backpack 24-7 that pumped blood through his body to keep him alive while waiting for a heart transplant. A backpack? How much is that backpack? And where do you get it? Where can I get one? A backpack that pumps blood to his heart while walking around. And of course, this black man's playing basketball. You ain't got no heart. When the coach told you, you ain't got heart, he literally does not have heart. <laughs> like, that's uh, I'm just kidding, but like, gosh. You gotta put your soul, you gotta put your heart in the game. Well, well, except for you, Stan. I know you're still waiting on that heart transplant, so uh, it's all good. If you enjoyed the video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'm see you guys tomorrow. Until then, peace.